I'm Anuradha. I am a proud Indian and proud to be part of Indian Space Research Organization. I am uh, leading communication satellite program uh, few projects. I have already completed two projects GSAT 12 and GSAT 10. I have three more in the annual GSAT 9, 17 and 18. I come from a middle class family, but basically I have been educated in uh, towns and cities. I have, I'm not, I have not been with a village background. But uh, yeah, I, I did not come from a science background. My parents are not from the science background. But all the same, they were always interested in exposing us to all the varieties in the life. And I came from a district headquarters called Shimoga in Karnataka, wherein it's kind of a cultural center where there used to be a lot of good lectures in science, literature, art, etc. And my father would always encourage us to go to such places, get us ourselves exposed to those things. And that's how I got interested in science. And naturally, I was good at uh, science and maths. And later on, more streamlined towards physics and maths. That's how my interest in engineering also started. But much before that, we were quite exposed to um, what was happening around, and uh, especially uh, the NASA program for the Apollo was one thing which was motivating us a lot at that time. I think I must have been around seven, eight years old at the time when the first uh, uh, Apollo program landed on the moon. It was something very exciting. And also, probably the other reason I always liked to get into the space was starting with my name. It means a star. Anuradha is a star. When I found out it means a star, I naturally had an interest to see where is my star. I would be looking at it and looking into sky and looking into the stars, constellations, identifying them were all games we played. Uh, who could recognize which constellation? That's how it started blooming. I think the uh, important thrust came with the Apollo when it was launched and it was something which was unimaginable for us and that's how the curiosity started and I had a good exposure in school and college about all these space programs what was going on and a lot of space uh, journals were also available in our colleges at that time. We used to be very interested and we used to go on uh, reading and discussing about those things. So that's how I chose electronics which was close to my heart physics and maths and space all together. And by the time I completed my engineering, I had uh, about seven, eight jobs on hand. And I also got into Indian Institute of Science to do my MS. But uh, I had given my interview at ISRO and I was waiting for it, whether it's going to come. The moment I got my order, I just jumped into it because that was my dream job. And I got in and you know, it's, I don't believe it's uh, nearly three decades I've been there at ISRO and I feel I joined just yesterday. That's how you feel here in the space industry because you never feel that you are grown old. There's something new to learn every day. Since the time I had joined, I've done various kinds of uh, work and I was assigned design and development and I was assigned testing and I was assigned to lead the teams to uh, carry out the assignments. And everywhere I have really enjoyed my work, that's most important. Presently, uh, I think for past uh, 2009 onwards, I have been the head of projects which have been doing communication satellites. And each of the satellite is unique and I like it because it gives you an opportunity to learn something new. First, I worked a lot on remote sensing satellites when I was not a project director. Then I moved to navigation satellites, there was a lot to learn. Then I moved to communication satellites. So I got exposure to all kinds of uh, applications and activities which are going on.